Tonight, we're hearing from Miami City Commissioners one day after Joe Carollo was ordered to pay more than $63 million for abusing his power at City Hall. But could taxpayers find themselves on the hook for all of this money? Local 10's Hatzel Vela live now at City Hall with what he's learned today. Hatzel. Calvin, you talked to commissioners here at City Hall, and at least one of them will tell you he does not believe that taxpayers will have to pay $63 million. You talked to a former commissioner. He tells a different story. He says anything can happen here at City Hall. $63 million is out of the question. We catch up with Miami City Commissioner Manolo Reyes after that bombshell verdict against his fellow commissioner, Joe Carollo. In federal court, jurors sided with two Miami businessmen who accused Carollo of violating their First Amendment rights, alleging Carollo used his office as commissioner to harass and damage the reputations of their business and tenants. It feels great to finally smush that cucaracha. The jury awards them more than $63 million in damages. So who pays? It doesn't have to be paid by the city. The verdict, he says, was against Carroyo, so he should pay. But former Commissioner Ken Russell says the Miami taxpayer could end up being liable for all that money. If Commissioner Carroyo and the city attorney can convince two other commissioners to pay this bill, um, it, it will be paid. The taxpayers, by way of the city, already on the hook for the commissioner's legal fees. At last check, $1.9 million even before the trial started. The city has not provided an updated total figure, and whatever that is will not include lawyer fees related to Carollo's expected appeals. As for Carollo's future, even though it's not criminal, Russell says the city charter says he could be removed from office. So do you believe at this point he should step down? Of course. Once again, we went to Carollo's Coconut Grove home. No one came to the door. And it's not over because there's a similar lawsuit going through the state's court system targeting City Hall, right? We also reached out to the mayor's office to see if he had any response over all of this. So far, he is not commenting. For now, reporting live from the city of Miami, I'm Hatsafella, Local 10 News. Okay.